picked up this little writing desk and I'd like to make it a sewing desk. Currently, my sewing machine lives in a box. So I think I've got enough room to put full extension drawer glides without too much hassle, but I do have to restructure the inside of the cabinet so that the drawer glides have something to attach to. Part of the reason that I want to replace these with the full extension drawer glides is one, these are much smoother to operate, and then you get to see the whole depth of the drawer. I don't, I'm not a big fan of these, just because they seem to break over time. They work by this being on the drawer and riding on this rail here. If I'm not going to be using this style, that means that I can take it out, give myself a little bit more room to work with. Now I'm just going to fasten the drawer glide level with the bottom of the drawer. And I'm going to use a little spacer just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. Now typically I'd use my impact driver for this, but since it's like 11.30 at night, I don't think my neighbors would really appreciate that. Putting a little bit of a gap right in front of this smallest piece allows all the sections to collapse fully to the front of the drawer. I want to inset the sewing machine into the table so that the surface is flush with the top of the tabletop. So I'll cut this out and then restructure underneath. One of the first projects that I want to do on the sewing machine after I get it in the table is to make some little covers for these. Because while they're great for holding garbage and scrap paper, they're also great for holding wood magic. So if I had pouches or flaps that would cover the pouches, then that would keep some of this to a minimum. try this technique that I've seen other people do, so it must work. Lay down some masking tape. Take your sticks and then super glue them to the masking tape.
in order for my adjustment plan to work, I need to turn this into this, which means a lot of threading. In order to get the adjustability that I'm after, I'm going to use three bolts like this. One here, one here, and one here to create kind of a three-point leveling system. The next step in the project is to bend these little prongs flat so that the adjustment mechanism will work. Or they, they just break off, look at that. I suppose that works too. So now we'll use a Forzner bit to drill a small cavity on the stringers I cut earlier. The one inch flavor should work fine. So now we'll need to drill out this hole so that the bolt can pass all the way through. Yeah, that'll be fine. But since this is a rather chunky drill bit, I'll start small and work my way up. Sacrificial block. Doobity boop bop. The threaded part on the bolt is 7.89 millimeters, which happens to be the only wood bit that I own. So that's what I'll use. If you're a woodworker and don't know about 123 blocks, they are super great. Mostly in the machinist world, but for woodworking, they're also pretty dang cool. It doesn't really matter where it lands in here, but the middle would be great. Don't like that.
And now it's time to level this thing out. it in place. Just cinch these down. So now this doesn't move easily. To support the filler piece, I've just added a flange washer with a screw. Well, I've added four of them, really. After making the cardboard pattern using the template contour tool, it fit perfectly, eventually. I've got my two holes marked for my power buttons. But it's a little bit scary because I have to drill almost all the way through. Well, it is finally done. Well, done enough for now. I've got the power button and the light button. 
both installed and ready to go. I added a little hole so that I can pull this piece out if I need to, but it also is a handy spot to keep the scissors. I made this little bolt so that I can have my large spool of thread there because those are much cheaper than the small ones and it doesn't really fit on the stock thread holder and yeah I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out I do need to make a board for the foot pedal to sit on so it doesn't migrate back but that's a project for another day this video is already getting a little long one thing I do want to showcase though is magnets I put this whole front piece on with some hard drive magnets that I had lying around so that way if I have to I can get at it and it clips nicely in there I did have to cut the bottom plate here to make room for the electronics underneath I just have each of the outlets wired to one switch so one goes to the light and the other goes to the sewing machine. Well now I can finally get to those sewing projects that I've been collecting for the past few months. Thanks for watching. God bless. Three, two, one. Please like and subscribe.